David, um, we'll, we'll get on to the, the recent run of form in a bit, but a good win tonight. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Villa came here and tried to ruffle us up and finally Norwich didn't lie down and let them happen, did it? It's quite pleasant to see. Do you think, do you think Alex Neil maybe learnt a lot of Barnsley? You were there and, you know, it, it was shambolic first half, he admitted he got it completely wrong I'm, and I'm he, gonna, he changed I'm it up. i say something and I, I, I have said this before, playing free in midfield like we do yeah. and the Mumbu is actually a key part of that jigsaw mm. because good, Barnsley second half he was best player on the pitch mm. by a mile today alright I know he's, he's getting tired I mean he bloke and played hardly any football yeah. but again today as soon as there's a difference I mean I'm not taking a Teddy Teddy's a Teddy and, and that's it but Teddy only goes sideways and backwards yeah. Mumbu breaks the play up and goes forward and he gives Houston and, and Dorrance the opportunity to move forward and that actually shined with Brady today Brady was good today mm. Because Mumbu's winning the ball in midfield and there's no bugger doing it. So the last game, I mean, whether it's another trip to home base to get some more wallpaper, I don't know. But, you know, we'll see. Nelson Oliveira as well, really coming into his own. You saw him on against Barnsley. He was outstanding. I mean, a lot of fans obviously didn't get the opportunity to go. We saw him at Barnsley. And he, was, mm. he was full of it. Mm. And he swats that three goals in three now, isn't it? Well, there you go. Mm. And even seen Jerome do that. No. I mean... I suppose is the worry here though that it might be papering over the cracks. That's what I mean. Wallpaper. I mean, home base is still there, isn't it? I mean, come on. I mean, we're going to have to do it again on Sat on Friday, mm. seven forty-five kick off here again underneath the lights against a team that we could potentially overtake. Mm. And you know, and looking at it, Villa. That was a six-point game today. I don't care. I know they say the six-point quesos. If Villa had won that today, they'd actually have overtaken us on goal difference today. So it was a huge game. It was a massive game. It, we're in December, and that's probably the biggest game Norwich have had all season. The fans seem to be fully behind the team tonight, which which helped us. Oh, I'm not sure what was the chanting going on in the bar. Well, there was no chance of Alex Neil, no, which is good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Still Alex Neil out. Uh, well, we've got what we've got, haven't we? I mean, we have to put up with it. I mean, I'm not exactly happy with Alex Neil because he keeps making the same mistakes and he keeps coming out and apologising. Well, it's about time he stopped apologising and stopped the mistakes and like today, and now bring that on against Huddersfield. Because if you look at the games that we've got over Christmas, I mean, Reading in the top four, top six. We've got Huddersfield in the top six. Um, Derby, who are pushing to get into the top six. I mean, we've got, we've got some cracking games coming up, and if we can pull out some results, then all of a sudden things can turn, and that's manager. Then the manager can feel a bit more relaxed because at the moment he's not, yeah. and I'm not an Alex Neil fan, and I never will be, but I'll support him because he's an Irish City manager. But don't mean to say I like it, and there's plenty of other fans probably on my side on that. Yeah. But he's shutting them up. He shut them up against Brentford. Unfortunately, he didn't shut them up against Barnsley, and you heard how hostile that was at half time. Yeah. And and tonight. They weren't chanting his name. They weren't... I mean, to be honest with you, you can hear a pin drop in the first half, apart from the Villa fans. Yeah. So that tells you a lot. They're waiting for the accident to happen because, believe you me, if we'd have been gone in 1-0 down and there was some boos at half-time, which I thought was a little it was bit... towards the ref, I think. Well, I hope so because I thought the disrespectful towards the players because I thought the first half Norwich battled well. Yeah. I mean, if that was a premiership game and you were in at 0-0, basically, that, them two teams are premiership teams. Yeah. And if you put 0-0, I mean, you would have been delighted with that half-time. And let's be honest, Villa, we owed, Villa owed us one. Mm. So, you know, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. For a change. Yeah. A big thanks to Credo Asset Finance for sponsoring all match day content here on Talk Norwich City. You can win yourselves a Christmas hamper. Yes, a Norwich City luxury Christmas hamper. All you've got to do is click the link in the description. Go over to that web page. There's a little link that you click on. Fill in your info and you can be in with the in with a chance of winning a nice little Christmas hamper. That'll go down very nice with the festive spirit. Thanks very much for watching and see you soon. Peace out.